We've got time for one or two questions. So as I listened to this and we were just talking at break, we keep throwing around these terms and, and they pol they seem to be proliferating. And I, and I think it all really started, David, I think when you created the term Health Outcomes Trust a long time ago, uh, now we've got, got community or wellness trust. Rethink Health has got stewardship council, councils, got integrators, quarterback, backbone, organization. I mean, it's just, we can end up just the proliferation of terms. So I think one thing that we could do here is kind of try to decide on a term or say these all are equivalent and then say what the functions would be uh, of such an entity. Um, but one of the functions, it seems like, if we would ever succeed at creating these would be finding um, common ground and common good in, in a community to, to do this. And what would it take? What are the strategies? What are the barriers? How, I mean, because these have been talked about for a long, long time. So I think for us to think about maybe the breakthrough from today, at least what I'm seeing, are these new friends that we have in community development financial institutions. Are, are, are they, is that the part that would get us over this hurdle of having talked about these for a long, long time? about how we would actually create them because it's it's all about the money and and how can we use that for common good you know and the last thing we want to do is have dueling backbone organizations with different sponsors or slightly different purposes emerging in, in, in similar kind of communities so I think that's that's sort of the the, the good side is there's a lot of energy and enthusiasm the bad side is that how do we make sure we sort of to coalesce around a common model to, to work to work together on it. Yeah, I think I'll turn it back to Terry or George. <laughs> 